in Northern Virginia at the near the site of the Virginia Connected Vehicle Testbed, um, where we are beginning to roll out research on how vehicles can communicate with each other and with the infrastructure to significantly change the way we manage traffic, the way we deal with um, the safety of the motoring public on our roadways, and how we maintain those roadways as well. What this technology will allow us to do is communicate with vehicles no matter where they are. So we can um, provide real-time information in a much more dynamic fashion than we're able to do now. We build the hardware that the scientists use, collect, analyze, and look at data. The device is much like a black box on an airplane. It records uh, speed, it records your brake reaction time, it has depending on what it is, two to six channels of video. Uh, so you can see what's going on around the vehicle. All this data is collected to try and analyze what's going on with uh, safety related events. So say a crash or a, or a near crash. I see more and more um, deployment of the technology um, as people begin to see the benefits to their own commutes, their own travel, um, not only from a safety standpoint, but from a mobility standpoint. If I know there's a work zone ahead and I know what my options are, if I know that there are modes I can switch to and what the end-to-end -end travel time are on those modes. And the sharing of information between the vehicles and the infrastructure and then other modes makes all of that possible. We're learning every day about how people are using the information and how they are reacting to it and how they need it delivered to them. Ten years from now, I, I expect to see this in every new car that rolls off the assembly line.